Good morning everyone, hope you all safe with a good health. Today we will complete our lesson. Uh, we talked about uh, last time about the convex concave mirror. Uh, today we will talk about the another type convex mirror. The properties of the image uh, of convex mirror and uh, how the image is formed uh, by the convex mirror. As, as act as a concave mirror. But the outer part if you turn the spoon around, the outer surface acts as a convex mirror, a reflective surface with the edge that curved away from the observer. So, the inner part of the shiny spoon is act as a concave mirror. The outer part acts as a convex mirror. When, what do you see when you look at the back of the spoon? You see a upright but smaller image of yourself. So. What are the properties of the spherical convex mirror are shown in the figure? The first one, you see here, the ray reflect from a convex mirror always diverge. This convex mirror form virtual image. Okay, so ray one, what will happen when the light pass parallel to the principal axis? It will reflect passing by the focal point did you see points f and c are behind the mirror so in the mirror equation f and di are negative number because they are posed behind the mirror so the value of the f and value of uh, distance of image are negative value because both of them behind the convex mirror the second ray the second ray did you see the second ray it uh, passes by the focal lens so it reflect parallel it reflect parallel to the principal axis when I take uh, the extension for ray 1 extension of ray 2 the intersection between the extension of these two ray form the image okay so the image here what is the properties of the image here it upright it will no it bigger no it is smaller than the a smaller than uh, the uh, size of object an image produced by a single convex mirror is always virtual not real that is upright and smaller than the object the magnification equation is useful for determining the appearance dimensions of an object as seen in the spherical convex mirror what is the magnification equation we did last time m equal if you know the diameter of an object, you can multiply by the magnification fraction to see how the diameter change. You will find that the diameter is smaller than as are all other dimensions. This is why the object appear to be farther away than they actually are folks are for convex mirrors. Okay, now let us check uh, our lesson which of the following statements about the image produced by a spherical concave mirror is true which of the following statements about image produced by a spherical concave mirror is true if an object is placed between the radius of the curvature and the focal point the real image form uh, is inverted larger than the object and located beyond c or if an object is placed between the radius of curvature and the focal point f the virtual image form it is inverted larger than the object and located beyond c if an object is placed placed between the radius of curvature and the focal point the real image form it is inverted smaller than the object and located beyond c or if an object is placed between the radius of curvature and the focal point the real image form it is inverted smaller than the object and located beyond between c and f 
which one is correct? So uh, the answer it will be A. Why? Ali in a spherical concave mirror, reflected ray converge and the heels. A real image is formed. If an object is placed between the radius of curvature and the focal point, the real image formed is inverted, larger than the object, and located beyond the radius of curvature. This can be seen in the following ray diagram. Did you see? So, when the object placed here, the image will form it beyond C. Okay? If we take two ray, ray, ray 1, Ray two, when re, when ray one passing parallel to the principal axis, it will reflect passing by po focal point. When the ray passing uh, passing with focal point, it will reflect the parallel to the principal axis. Uh, principal axis, the intersection between these these two ray uh, is the place where the image is formed. Question number two. Two centimeter toy pole is placed upright beyond the radius of curvature. Where will be the image of the toy form it, and how will it appear? <coughs> <coughs> number A. The image of the toy will be formed beyond the radius of curvature. It will appear inverted with the size less than two. Or the image will be formed between the radius of curvature and the focal point it will appear inverted with a size greater than 2 or the image will be formed between the radius of curvature and the focal point it will appear inverted with a size less than 2 or the image will be formed between the radius of curvature and the focal point it will appear upright with a size greater than 2 okay which one is correct okay the answer it will be c why if an object is placed beyond the radius of curvature okay the object placed beyond the radius of curvature the image will be formed between the radius of curvature and the focal point with a size less than the object okay this can be seen in the following ray diagram. Question number three. If an object is placed at a focal point in front of a concave mirror, where will the image be formed and how will it appear? Um, first one, the image will be formed beyond the radius of curvature. It will be real, enlarged. And inverted the image will be formed at infinity it will never be seen the image will be formed between the radius of curvature and the focal point it will be well with used and inverted or the image will be formed between the focal point and the mirror it will be virtual reduced and upright which one is correct okay so the answer it will be P why? Because if the object is at the focal point, all reflected rays are parallel. They never meet, and hence the image is said to be at infinity and will never be seen. Question number four. Which of the following statements about an image produced by a single convex mirror is true? Number A. A convex mirror produced virtual image that are upright and smaller than the object only when the object is placed beyond the radius of curvature or a convex mirror always produce virtual image that are inverted and smaller than the object or a convex mirror always produce a virtual image that are upright and bigger than the object or a convex mirror always produce a virtual image that are upright and smaller than the object okay which one is correct yeah, the answer it will be number D. Why? Because in a convex mirror, reflected rays diverge and the side lines intersect behind the mirror at the location of the image. An image produced by a single convex mirror is always a virtual image that is upright and smaller than the object. 